Um, yeah, you don't take enough time to position yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. Actually, you know what? I think, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take just a minute here, because I've been thinking about the bridge skip tutorial that I want to make, and I don't think there's that much to it, so I'll just quickly explain it here instead of doing a run. I think it'll just take a couple of minutes. Uh, also, I'm going to take out these wolves first so they're not bothering me. I'll uh, turn my keyboard around real quick so I have access to my save states. So you guys know basically, you know, what you're supposed to do. For the sake of this being a tutorial for the future, I'll explain. You want to be on the left end of this wall. Um, but the left end of this wall is really weird. You'll see I just jumped off of it, and I'm theoretically in the same position, like the same horizontal position, but I'm off the wall. It's a weird wall. Uh, yeah. So you want to get onto the wall basically on the left side, though. Uh, you want to walk forward until you auto-jump. Now you'll notice I auto-jumped and then I landed back on the wall. That's another weird property of this wall that I don't totally understand. You can also... Now I'm off it again. You can also auto-jump and land off the wall, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you do that, you can just hop back on. I think I'm too far to the left, and that's why I keep falling off. Anyway, so for bridge skip to work, you want to be right on the edge of the wall here. Like, right on the front end. Uh, the way I do it is I'm holding jump. I don't know. Here, hold on, actually. Let me pull up OBS so I can see my camera in real time. You want to be holding jump, uh, and also holding triangle. Uh, sometimes, oops, sometimes I do that by uh, just having my thumb across, you know, the buttons there. Sometimes I do it by holding jump with my thumb and triangle with uh, my index finger. So I'm holding X and triangle right now, and then I just walk forward and I get a high jump automatically, and I glide over the bridge. And that's that's all I do. That's it. Now in terms of setting yourself up so you're on the edge here, I mean, I just did it very quickly, but yeah, if you're kind of lined up with the left end of the wall, you're kind of lined up with the left end of the wall, I jump on it and run forward, and when I get the auto jump, I stop holding forward. Mm, it's not quite close enough, though. I don't think. Run forward, get the auto jump, I'm in position, I do it. Um, when you say A, do you mean jump? No, I don't auto jump and then hold A. I'm already holding A. Usually, I, uh, I go forward and when I get the auto jump, I press A then. I press A while I'm in the air right now. It's so like, you know, I, I jump right about now. I would press down and hold jump. If I fall to the bottom and I jump back up, I'm holding jump, you know, by the time I'm on the edge of the wall. And then I start pressing triangle to glide before I jump, before I do, you know, the jump across, although I'm not forward enough right now. So I'm pressing jump and glide right now, and then I just walk forward. And when you're in the air, and you're holding glide, or I guess I should say when you do a jump and you're holding glide, you automatically glide at your peak. So like, if I'm holding triangle right now, I am holding it right now, and I jump, I automatically glide. Uh, and yeah, I think that's basically 
everything that I do for bridge skip to work. That's it. I find this really easy. Um, but then, yeah, the biggest problems I have are being too far to... That was too far forward, and I died. Being too far to the right when I try to set myself up, because, you know, you can't move over and save it, really. Um, yeah, if... I think that's everything I wanted to say, so if you guys have any other questions, um, feel free to ask them. But I will clip this part of the stream later and throw it up on YouTube or something for future preservation. <laughs>